Hi everybody, Toxic here, and in today's video I'm going to talk about ToxUI patch 6.7.0. The update is quite big, so grab your favorite beverage, relax, and uh, enjoy. To start off with the new features, and of course new features are the most exciting part, uh, the first thing on our list is we have new specialization icons for both uniframes and details. And you can already see a quick preview here in the details. Same as well goes for the uniframes. And of course, I will show all of them right now here on the screen. So you can take a quick look, uh, hit pause if you want to uh, take a closer look or just check them out in game. Now, uh, do note that uh, unit frame icons are only available for retail because of the APA constraints that Classic has and you can't really check other people's specialization, so yeah, retail only, but details, uh, all versions. And with new specialization icons, we also have updated Enhancement Shaman and Outlaw Rogue. Uh, so Outlaw Rogue is no longer a uh, some sort of weird man with a pistol. It is now a dice for our lovely spell, Roll the Bones. Next, we've added some extra options to the Tox UI decorative lines. So if we go to the armory, scroll down to decorative lines, we now have a line height option. It goes from 1 to 5. And also line color to choose between class and the gradient class. So yeah, nice, nice little touch. And the next big feature is vehicle bar updates. Uh, this has been a controversial feature in the past since a lot of people are telling me it's buggy. Uh, it kind of is, but it works most of the time, so I like it. So let's hop on our oh, let's hop on our mount, and we can immediately see the changes. First of all, we are showing eight buttons instead of seven, just for that you know. Uh, OCD, whatever you want to call it, odd numbers are better than, uh, I mean, even numbers are better, whatever, I'm rambling on. Uh, next, we've increased the button size and also added the option to change the button size. So if we go to uh, plugins, vehicle bar, we have the button width and height will accordingly change uh, due to width, width, so because it's a 4-3 aspect ratio. Uh, then next big requested thing, we are showing uh, key bindings on the vehicle bar. And uh, those key bindings, of course, respect the color modifier key that uh, we have on action bars as well. Then there's no longer a stuck animation of it moving up. It just appears and fades in. That was annoying a bit. And uh, the biggest thing of them all, probably, we have added the vigor slash sky riding bar and you can see those six segments here it also shows the speed that i'm going at so if i fly up you can see the vigor was used if i fly up again i'm uh and the number changes blue and that means i have thrill active and my vigor is recharging if i lose vigor it's no longer recharging it's white and the same goes if you get start getting vigor again so pretty nifty i'm very excited and happy with this and if you find any bugs i don't want to hear about it uh just kidding open a bug report another new feature or well not new but rather redesigned feature is our afk screen and now it closely resembles the game menu uh overlay so if i type afk you can see this looks very similar to what we have when you press escape. It shows the time, your character info, shows three random tips, and we also show the change log for the current uh, patch that you have. So that way you will definitely not miss any important updates. And the last new thing is split name tags. So if I target to your full track and citizen, you can see half of its name is white and the other uh, the other half is green green because this is a friendly enemy uh, friendly unit same goes on my unit frame half is white half is uh, class color 
and same for other people priestess of course white class color so it's all white we got a warlock priest again hunter and this tag is not enabled by default uh, because well it's you know subjective and it also has a extra feature which i'm going to showcase right now so if i go to my player texts and name you can see that the tag is right here Toxie name mid medium split and then in these brackets i have my own name so if i remove it right now you'll see that nothing changes that's because uh, my name is eight characters long so it splits in the half that's fine now if i add the brackets again and for example write only two letters of my name you can see that only the two letters get highlighted the same can go for six letters if you want now the reason i added this is because well i have all my characters prefixed with toxi and then something else after it so i just thought it would be pretty cool for people that have multiple characters with similar names to you know just have a a, a cool a cool feature <laughs> highlighting their name so yeah, play around with it if you have any questions you know ask in discord but it's fairly simple easy to use moving on to bug fixes we have uh, improved fallback colors for one of our gradient functions so that should uh, break less often then uh, now the uh, class icon updates on specialization change previously it was only on target change so now when you change specs the icon also updates immediately then we have fixed the broken omni cd installer because they have made some api changes so that should be working now another cool fix i'm very excited about is I have fixed the squashed icons in Wunderbar flyout. So if you open my mage portals, you can see that they are no longer uh, squashed. Well, you know, they maintain their aspect ratio. So that's pretty cool. And I'll put up a comparison on the screen right about now, I guess. Next minor thing, I have fixed the details version in our status report. So if I open TX status, you can see that details is no longer uh, saying details damage, damage meter, it's only saying details. And then you get the correct version number that details offers themselves expect. So uh, a, a nice little thing. And lastly, I have fixed the spec switch module in vanilla because they again had some API changes and shit broke down. So uh, now it's fixed. Cool. Next up, we have profile updates. And the first thing in our list is uh, updating default hunter's shift color. So take a close look. The gradient part of the hunter's color is now more saturated. It's more sharp and overall just looks nicer in my opinion. So there's that. Next up, uh, I've updated the big wigs bars positions. Uh, they should be slightly better now because they're anchored relatively to your unit frames and or your details so it should be better then i've uh, updated the font for the inspect item level it's no longer you know huge it's a small nice font that matches the rest of our fonts then there have been updates to the default armory profile so if i open up my armory you can see uh, these fonts have changed all of these have changed you can still go back to the old look, but I think this looks just more modern and better. So if you don't like it, you can, you have the option to go back. It's no worries. And last thing on our profile updates is that we have updated the default icons, both for unit frames and for details. So on retail, both of these will be using the Toxy spec stylized icons. And on vanilla and Kata, the unit frames will still be using the old class icons. Quick documentation changes. We have increased LVI minimum required version to 13.69. Nice. 
Nice. And we have also updated the version for vanilla because they've had a patch recently. For settings refactoring, we have changed the miscellaneous tab to plugins. And uh, the class icons now have their own dedicated section in skins, class icons. So take a look. And uh, this should be easier to find now. And lastly, for development improvements, uh, we've added some additional string functions. Uh, we also removed the priest color overrides because they were never worked correctly and they were causing more issues than benefits. Uh, we are also using the new Bigwigs profile API, so no longer do I have to export uh, any tables. I just take the string, put it into code, and it works. Then small minor change, if uh, LVI character frame skin is disabled, we also disable the armory module. And lastly, uh, I've started adding a, a custom scale table for weird resolutions. We had a, a case where a person was using a very odd resolution. So uh, yeah, we, we added that for them. And that is it for Toxui patch 6.7.0. Uh, my mouth is dry, I, I, I need to drink some water. And uh, if you have any bugs, suggestions, features, whatever, visit our Discord server. Um, and uh, yeah, have a nice day.